So in this video, I will show you how to solve exercise 11. That the exercise I have give you in the last week. So you can see from this one. So evaluate each of the following integrals using appropriate substitution. So you can see that the question already give you the hint. We're going to use the substitution method. So we're going to use the substitution method. So in this case, you cannot straightforward integrate. So we have to use the substitution method, means that let u. So in this case, you can see let basically our u is equals to the, the, uh, the expression in the determinants it's not determinants, in the denominator, sorry. This is the denominator. U, the denominator. U can be inside the square root. U can be the index or the power, the, uh, the expression in the index, the expression in, uh, inside the square root, the expression in the denominator or you can be the expression with the lower degree. Actually, we have to add an expression. Sorry. Again. Basically, u is the expression in the denominator u can be the expression inside the square root and then u can be the expression in the index which is the power or u can be the expression of the smaller index or power of the smaller index or power the degree smaller degree so you can see in this case integrate from 0 to 1 this one we known as the definite definite integral where we need to substitute this value, the finite integral for x over x plus 1 power of 3 with respect to x. So our u in this case is the expression in the denominator. So the expression in the denominator without the degree of 3. So without this degree of 3. So in question 1a, 1a, our u is equals to x plus 1 x plus 1 without the degree of 3 because the smaller index without the degree so what we do is first we differentiate first step from u differentiate u so du over dx so differentiate x this one will get 1 differentiate 1 we should get 0 so in this case du is equals to dx so First differentiate and then find dx. So our du is equals to dx. After you differentiate, you try to find the dx or du. So in this case, du is equals to dx because why? When I multiply dx to the right hand side, this is one dx. So du is equals to dx. And then from here, we try to substitute into the question or the integral. So integrate from zero to one for x over x plus 1 cube with respect to x now will become integrate from 0 to 1 x is x but now our denominator is u uh, x plus 1 cube where x plus 1 is u so here is u cube dx is equals to du so you can see that in this question the x cannot be simplified Normally, we can uh, simplify the x, 
But in this case, x cannot be simplified. So how? If x cannot be simplified, what we can do is we have to substitute. How to substitute? Since u is equal to x plus 1 from this part. So x u minus 1 will be equal to x. What I do here is I just move 1 to the left hand side. So means that x actually is equals to u minus 1. So from this example, you know that if this x cannot be simplified, then we need to substitute the x. Normally, we can simplify the x. But in this case, x cannot be simplified, then we need to substitute the x. How? From this one, x, u is equal to x plus 1. So next, this part will be equals to integrate from 0 to 1 x is u minus 1 over u cube d u so separate into two part u over u cube minus 1 over u cube and then we simplify integrate from 0 to 1 here is 1 over u squared minus 1 over u cube. If you still remember, before we integrate this part, we have to move up as a this one. We have to move to the numerator. Integrate from 0 to 1, u power of negative 2 minus u power of negative 3. Then now we can integrate. So when I start to integrate, u negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over negative 1 minus u power of negative 2 because negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 over negative 2 from 0 to 1. We try to simplify. So here I should have negative. Here we can move down. It will become 1 over u. So negative, negative will become positive. Here I should have 1 over 2u. Remember, don't substitute 1, 1 and 0 into u because 1 and 0 is the value of x. This is the value of x. Don't forget. Don't simply substitute into u. So what you have to do is we have to substitute u back to x. So it means that negative 1 over our u actually is x plus 1. So over x plus 1 plus 1 over 2 times x plus 1. So now you can substitute the value of 1 and 0. Please don't substitute into u because this is a value of x. So here, negative 1 over, here is 1 plus 1, plus 1 over 2 times 1 plus 1. This is the first part. Sorry, here yeah. is minus. Here is the first part. No, I can use the square bracket. Minus substitute zero. Negative one over zero plus one plus one over 2, 0 plus 1. So here I should have negative 1 over 2 plus 2, 1 over 4. Is that correct? 2, 2 times 4, okay. Minus, this is negative 1 plus 1 over 2. So negative 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 is equal to negative 1 over 4 minus negative 1 plus 1 over 2 is negative 1 over 2. Finally, negative 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 will be equal to 1 over 4. So to this, through this example or this exercise 1a, you can see that if the x cannot be simplified, so we need to substitute the x from what we let from here. So x have to be substituted. 
So substitute, separate into two, and then we try to integrate. The next thing you have to remember, please don't substitute this value of x into u. You have to change u back to x and then substitute the value. So this is two, in, uh, two important part you have to remember. And then if you look at b. In this video, we will explain what a and b. And then for the question two, I will explain in the next video. So first we look at a and b first. So this is b. Integrate. This is infinite where we don't have to substitute the value. Cos 2x exponent sine 2x with respect to x. So in this case, it's u expression, expression in the index. So here is our index. And here it will be our u. So in this case, u is equals to sine 2x. Like before, differentiate du over dx. First, differentiate sine. Second, differentiate 2x. Differentiate sign, we should get positive cos 2x. Differentiate 2x is 2. So du over dx is equals to 2 cos 2x. And then we try to find the dx. So <clears throat> du is equals to 2 cos 2x dx. And then finally, du over 2 cos 2x is equals to d x so find the dx from our uh, question integrate cos 2x exponent sine 2x dx now is equals to integrate cos 2x exponent power of u u is sine 2x. dx is du over 2 cos 2x. So in this example, this cos x can be, cos 2x can be simplified. Don't forget we have 2 here. So I can move the constant in the far, uh, to the front, which is 1 over 2. Sorry. So I can move this 2 to the front. It will become 1 over 2. Integrate. Here is exponent u du with respect to u. So 1 over 2. This can already simplify. Exponent u du. Yeah. So integrate exponent u. I should get exponent u. So integrate exponent u is, don't forget, 1 over 2 here plus c. So integrate exponent u, I should get back exponent u, actually is exponent u over 1. I can show you. 1 over 2. Because the variables of u is 1. So this is exponent u over 1. And then plus c. So here is 1 over 2 exponent u plus c. So here is 1 over 2 exponent, where our u is sine 2x. So sine 2x plus c. Here is the answer for question 1b. So in the next video, I'll show you the uh, question number 2.